I'm warming up. I'm gonna take the bar for like 10 minutes this morning and that's literally it. Just gonna foam roll, make sure my body feels good with the bar, and then we'll leave. Madison's doing bench press. Yeah, we're just chilling for like an hour. I'm gonna go check weight after this and then uh, we'll be good. All right, this is my coach in the back room, Kaleo. I've known Kaleo for six years, seven years, something like that. The first meet he ever coached me at, I won. So yeah. now it's like a I think thing. we were undefeated for a while, but that's because yeah. we had uh, one meet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were undefeated for one meet. <laughs> but yeah, he's a Cal Strength alum. Yeah. Got my own gym now, Standard Strength. San Jose. Yeah. We've had you come through a couple times. Yeah. And lift. If you guys we have got seen money me. in the bank coming up. So, yeah, plug that. <laughs> money in the bank, August 12th and 13th. Big money prizes. Get that briefcase. Yeah, it, he's a hosting weightlifting meets that give out money. So support that shit, because that's what weightlifting needs more than literally anything. It's on the USAW website, and we got it on the PWA website, so. Yeah. Oh, if you're yeah. a Californian, get in there. <laughs> Make it happen. No. Press, 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 come on, you got it! Yeah, yes. I'll help him find some. Woo! I'll make sure they're taken care of, but. Oh yeah, this is my cool little Onyx book that they gave out. I actually kind of like it because they got the little, uh, we'll give them a little shout out, but they got the little competition rules, qualifying totals, American records. So you just like hit it with the QR code. But yeah, this is just like a coach's book that most of us use. Use code Dozer. Yeah. <laughs> 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. Cool. And then clean and jerk. Clean and jerk, we'll do bar. Uh, bar, we'll just do one bar. Then 70, 110, 140, 160, 170, and then. Split it? You want to split the difference, like 176? I don't like doing that many clean and jerks, is a thing. Yeah. We could do, leave that 170. Next one's opener. We can go like 173 for the last one or something like that. 173? Yeah, like 160, 173, then open at 182 or something. Oh, okay, I got you, I see. All right, we just weighed in. Pretty light, 95.3. I took a fat piss right before I weighed in, so it was a little light, but it's good. Wasn't a stressful cut or anything, just ate a little bit less for like three days and didn't have to change water or anything, so I feel good. About to eat this burrito, relax, just try to stay in a positive mood because after weigh-ins, it's normal for people to get a little weird and change their mood and just get super serious and whenever I do that I'm worn out by the time we start snatching so I'm just chilling right now and I will dial in when I need to. I am so proud of Dylan because he has written his own program to get here and that's not easy to do. If I had to write my own program I'd be like high hang snatches every day maybe no jerks but he's had a good balance of like his programming and what he's bad at, what he's good at, and it's reflected on his training, and he's gonna do really good today either way. The best time to join the dog pack is now because the training cycle is super fun. My, like, I like complexes. I know some people are like overrated, but there's a lot of complexes in this cycle, and it's a lot of fun. So join now. Five dollars. What, what are you gonna do with five dollars? If you can't afford five dollars, go home. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to grab one before you do it. Two minutes, and then it's over for you. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Dylan
Dylan. No left. All right, guys, I just bombed out. Um, that is unfortunately part of the sport. I've done over 50 meets. I've only had one bomb out at a big meet like this, and this was number two. And it's terrible, it's a terrible feeling, but you're still at a weightlifting meet. You still have an opportunity to clean and jerk, and it's just part of the sport. Um, I had a great training cycle leading up to this. Um, definitely didn't expect that. <clears throat> Actually had a really good feeling about this meet, and we fucking bombed, so. Lot to learn from this one, but right now we got a clean and jerk. We have an opportunity to clean and jerk on a really nice bar in front of a lot of people. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that as hard as we can. So you can mope around and be sad, but it is what it is. I can't go back and change it. So we're here now and let's fucking party. Yeah, unfortunate uh, today for Dylan, you know what I mean? Like, he's a competitor though, and honestly, like we talked about this, I think you and I talked about this earlier, but 
you're not really a weightlifter until you you know you bomb out at least once and it's been a while for him and like he said it might have been coming but he's such a competitor you know what i mean he'll come back he'll fucking do better than he ever has before on the next one i know it this guy's got a heart of a lion so yeah we'll see we'll see more from dylan cooper that's for sure the dog father <laughs> that was the worst meet of my life and it was all documented and I'm happy about that because you get to see every aspect of what went wrong. Training leading up to this, everything I did leading up to this felt really good. Uh, my last Max Out Friday felt great. Um, I was very strong. You saw the lifts, the cleans were effortless. Right, the pull on the snatch was faster than it's ever been. And something mentally just did not connect today. As soon as I heard my name get called, my brain just couldn't get into that zone that it normally gets into. And I think that's just because I'm not treating this as seriously as I need to. I thought 10 weeks of training um, was going to give me what I needed to battle here. And I wasn't even in the mix at all. Um, so I was thinking about taking a lot of time off after this meet and that is simply not going to happen. To be honest, I didn't focus on technique at one point throughout this whole training cycle. I. Um, would just focus on how my body felt. If my body felt good, I would tell myself, I've been lifting for 10 plus years, I'll be fine. But that came back and bit me in the ass. Um, so because I have all this going on, I probably need some eyes on me. This meet humbled the fuck out of me. And you guys are going to see the build up to the next one. I was planning on taking a lot of time off and I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'm gonna get right back in the gym, probably gonna work out tomorrow. I still believe in the program 100%. The program took me from like a 135 snatch and a 170 clean and jerk to, what did I do? 150 and 190 in 10 weeks. Those are results. The program did everything it was supposed to do and it was my brain and my mentality that failed me today, which normally I can fall back on. So we gotta do some reflecting, but I'm glad you guys got to see the nasty part of weightlifting. I've done 50 plus meets. This is the worst one I've ever had. And every time I've had a meet like this, some of the best meets I've ever had have been the one after. So get ready for the next six months leading up to AO finals because we are training every fucking week and we are doing everything right. And yeah, I'm excited to get back in the gym. We got a cat. Meow. Everyone say hi to Grimace. She's pretty hungry, but luckily, uh, <laughs> if you guys use my link for Barbell Apparel, all commission that comes from that is gonna feed this one. So Gorilla Mind is Pib, and Barbell Apparel is uh, Grimace. Grimace is a girl. Grimace is a gender neutral name. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Let's talk about what happened. Okay, so I had a bad meet. Um, as you can see, if you've made it to this point in the video, I had a really bad meet. And um, what's frustrating about this meet is the prep was super solid. Um, clean and jerked 190 for the first time in five years, which is wild. And I did it at a body weight that's 15 kilos lighter than the last time I did it. I snatched 150 this training cycle. Snatches weren't as dialed, but they were still really strong. Um, prep was perfect. I felt really good the whole time. I think that's why this meet was so frustrating. And that just goes to show you that when you're a weightlifter, you just don't really know what's gonna go your way. You could have great training, great prep, and then get to the meet and not do well. You can have the worst training ever and then go out and have the best meet of your life. There's just no telling. There are a lot of things you can do to make sure that doesn't happen. Little things like managing stress, which I did a terrible job of. Um, building up to this meet, I was on the dog pack. Everyone knew I was on the dog pack. And I was going into nationals on 10 weeks of training, trying to win the thing, being on a program that I'm selling, that's my livelihood. And I think the culmination of all that, dropping on one performance, stressed me the fuck out to where when I was in the back room, I was like, I don't even wanna be here. I just have to go make these lifts so I can continue living. That's basically how my brain was working in that point in time, and it was terrible. Um, and that's my fault. I could have easily done everything the same, been on the dog pack, and just not let that stuff get to me, but it did. It did get to me, and I think if I can go into a meet with a fresh perspective and 
be hopeful and not have all this stress weighing down on me, it's going to be a much different outcome. So that's going to be the goal next time is to just manage stress. It can't get any worse than it's already gotten. It can literally only go up from here unless I miss weight. Aren't you going up a weight class? I am going up. A, watch me go to 102, weigh in at 102.5. Weight. Miss weight, throw up, make weight with 50 minute or with what an hour and one minute left. Open up at 44 and bomb out. That's the only way it can get worse. No, I did not just manifest that. If anything, I should try to manifest that because I manifest. I tried to manifest winning nationals and we saw what happened. So if I try to manifest that, then the opposite's going to happen and I'm going to the Olympics next year. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an athlete, don't put too much stress on yourself. You don't have to be doing this. You don't have to be a weightlifter. You don't have to be a powerlifter, whatever it is you are. You don't have to be that. You're doing it because you like doing it or because you have some emotional damage and you're trying to fill that void in your heart. Either way, you don't have to do it. So remember that, have fun when you do it because it can be not fun once you lose sight of that. And I learned that the hard way this past weekend. But all things considered, we're getting back to training next Monday. I'm going to be ironing out some stuff that needs attention, snatch technique, um, mobility, need to do my accessory work. All these things are gonna be implemented. Um, and we're gonna give ourselves more than 10 weeks this time. That way we have time with the heavier weights. I feel like in this last prep, I was doing five kilos more every week, which basically was like, we got to these numbers, now we're gonna open at them. I never really had time to feel out those weights, get used to them, get confident with them. So we're gonna take things a little bit slower this time, give ourselves a full 20 weeks of prep instead of 10 weeks. That way when we get to the competition, we're gonna be confident, we know exactly what to expect, and we're not just putting weights on the bar and pulling as hard as we can. We're lifting to make lifts. So yeah, that starts Monday. If you guys wanna continue to support the redemption arc that's about to go down, the links are below. Barbell Apparel, the best clothes possible. Get them, wear them, tag me, do all that stuff. We might have some dozer stuff coming soon. Um, Gorilla Mind, if you like Jack 3D with the good old DMAA in it, Gorilla Mind pre-work. What? DMAA. That's what I said, DMAA. No, DM. DMAA. If you guys like that stuff and you used to take it like six, seven years ago, the closest you can get to that is Gorilla Mind's pre-workout. And if you're a competitor, stop taking it two weeks before a drug tested meet because you will piss hot for one of the stimulants in there, but you can take it out of competition. And that's code Dozer on Gorilla Mind. Get that pre-workout. They just dropped a new flavor, uh, Fourth of July flavor, so do that. If you want to join the dog pack, do it now because we are in the beginning of a strength cycle and this is gonna be a longer training cycle. I'm gonna push this one to 16 weeks. We are still gonna max out once a month. So you're gonna be able to see where the maxes are and watch those go up over the next four months. But this is going to be a longer training cycle and now is the time to join. So if you wanna join the dog pack, link is also down below. But this is the start of a new block, a start of a new training period and I'm excited for it. We're gonna take things a little slower, more methodical, and every week is going to be documented on this channel. So strap in, prep for AO 2023 starts now.